Hey guys, Chris here. Today we are going to make fried rice. We're starting out with peanut oil and we are going to toss in our eggs that are whisked up with some soy sauce. My heat is extremely high and the goal is to cook this on as high of heat as possible and still having it turn out edible. We're going to cook the eggs until they're done. If I was going to add meat, I would have done that before the eggs. The full recipe is linked in the description below. Go there, make this. It's amazing. I added a little white pepper to my eggs as well. Now I'm adding peas and carrots. I take help from the store on this almost always. I would have added the whole bag, but my husband doesn't groove on them as much as I do, so I just added a little bit. We do love a lot of egg in our fried rice, and here's the rice. And so here are my tips and secrets. You must make your rice the night before, or the day before, or two days before, and let it sit in the fridge. Then you will use your fork to, to loosen it up and to fluff it up. Also, when you make your rice, I make mine in my rice cooker, I use stock, chicken stock, beef stock, and then I usually add an extra bouillon cube and some soy sauce so that my rice is already flavored before I even start. If you do not make your rice and let it sit in the fridge and dry out, you will just have a gummy, sticky mess, and nobody wants that from fried rice. You want those separated pieces of rice, fried up, delicious, full of flavor. You know that's what you want. And if you follow my direction, that's what you should get. Again, the recipe is written for chicken fried rice, you can do your meat before or not use any meat at all. If I were to make chicken fried rice, I usually let it marinate in some soy sauce and garlic and white pepper for a few hours before I use it. The world is your sandwich. Make it like you like it. I just continue to stir fry it and I'm using my spurtle. If you, um, are interested in those I'll try to leave a link to those below I was gifted a set of spurtles by my friend Susie over at Susie by the sea I love them I just sprinkle in soy sauce as I think I need it and when it tastes perfectly perfect then there you go I usually stir fry it five to seven minutes, I guess, until everything is hot all the way through and it's nice and browned up a little bit. If you follow my tips and my tricks, you can't mess it up. I think we got like three meals out of this and then put some in the freezer. So it, this was a pretty huge batch. I hope that you enjoy it. Let me know if you try it. And I will see you in my next video. Until we meet again, do not forget to eat good food. Bye, guys.